hey beautiful people a very beautiful morning beautiful afternoon and beautiful evening to every one of you how are we all doing guys i know we're doing amazing all right so in today's video we are going to be considering assessment of a malnourished patient using the most two and this happens to fall in your new OSCE, your new test of competency so the new test of competency you might be having must so all you need to do is you're going to have this is your most chart and it's going to be scored for you all right your most chart is going to be scored for you all you need to do is to ask the questions and total them you are going to be having your news charts and you have to do your observation and chart accordingly you are going to be having this as well you're going to be having this as well you're going to be having this as well you're going to be having this for your most so i will be taking you through step by step of assessing must in the new test of competency so in the new test of competency you'll be having your new two charts and you will be having your must so like i told you this will be scored for you they will they will circle the questions they need you to ask for you it will be scored for you when you score with then you can you know you can now tell the patient if the patient is having low risk malnutrition, high risk malnutrition, or medium risk malnutrition. Okay, so it is really, really simple, guys. I'll tell you for free OSCE is simple, nurses are brilliant. Don't be scared, don't be scared at all. So, I'll be doing this in a practical setting, and my son will be acting as my patient, and you will then get the knowledge needed for this. Um, assessment if you have any question please feel free to pop it up on the youtube channel i'm more than happy to answer your questions and your inquiries because i easily respond to the youtube more than even my emails so just ask any question so a lot of people have been asking me about evaluation I have a lot of videos and evaluation, but a lot of people are still having issues with it. Some people are sending me their results. So I don't know, should we do a live? Should we go live and discuss evaluation? If you think we should go live and dissect evaluation, pop it in the YouTube comment section. And I'll fix a date, communicate the dates on the community chat. Then we can do a live session and we could dissect everything about evaluation if you think so. Or if you think that there's no need to go live, why not do another video on evaluation and take us through? I'm at your service. I'm more than happy to do that. Is that okay, guys? All right. So if you're meeting me for the very first time, my name is Violet Okolocha. And on this channel, I talk about everything to make you pass your OSCE exam in one sitting and some positive vibes here and there. If you have not subscribed to this channel, oh my God, why? After all this knowledge shared in this channel, you're not serious. So please hit the subscribe button. Share this video with your friends preparing for OSCE exam. The aim of this channel is to make sure every one of us passes our OSCE exam in one second and i'm not joking about it in one second all right guys so um i'll be starting now and so if you have any question don't forget to you know pop up your question and i'm more than happy to answer your question so welcome back and let's talk about a to e assessments of a most patient using the most charts all right, guys, come, 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 and let's dissect this. Hey, lovely people. So welcome back to my channel. And let's dissect A to E assessment of a most patient in the new test of competency. So the first thing you do first is to do your hand hygiene. Of course, your assessor is going to say to you, as you all checks have been done. So I'll do my hand hygiene according to World Health Organization. Palm to palm, right palm over left dozen, vice versa. Fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, fingers interlocked, rotation of the top, rotation of the top, tips to the finger, tips to the finger, and the wrist. So my hands are clean. I will now read my scenario. I'm just reading my scenario to have an idea of the patient. So I'm having a more patient, okay? I'm having a more patient. All right. So you will have your new two charts. You will have your musts, which has already been scored for you. 
do we have the treatment recommendation and we have this 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 and this all right so now i can approach my patients hello hi my name is violet i'm one of the nurses who will be looking after you today can i please know your full name and date of birth please my name is Harry Brook. and your date of birth please 15th february 1940 fantastic can i double check that with your wristband okay fantastic so imagine the wristband I have here Haley Brook, Haley Brook, date of bed 15th February 1940, hospital number 100010. Assessor, with the paperwork I have on my hand, I can confirm to you I have the right patient. So, Haley, do you have any allergies at all? Yeah, I'm allergic to nuts. Oh, bless you. So, what happens when you take peanuts? I usually have rashes all over my body. Oh, bless you. I can assure you, that's why you're having a red wristband nobody will give you anything containing peanuts is that okay all right all right fantastic so the reason i'm here this morning is because i want to assess you i want to carry out an a to e assessment on you using the most chart is this a convenient time yes it is you sure you don't want to use the washroom no 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 all right i'll just ask you some few questions now can you confirm to me that your height is 1.60 in meters yes. and your weight is 70 kg yes. is that correct Haley? yes that's Correct. Oh, fantastic. So I move over to step one. Step one means BMI score, and BMI score is actually your weight and your height. So, from what I have here, you are having a score of zero, meaning that for BMI score, you fall within the normal range. So, I'm happy with that. There is no problem with that. All right, okay. so I move over to step two. Step two means weight loss score in the last three to six months and from what i have here you have lost between five percent to ten percent in the last three to six months is that true Haley? yes that's true why is that so why have you lost weight that's because i lost my dog recently oh, and because bless of that you. i've not been eating properly like the way i used to oh, and I've not been i'm drinking so sorry well. to hear that i'm really yeah. so sorry to hear that so how long have you been with your dog before you lost him like a week now I've oh. been with my dog for over two years. Wow, yeah. wow. So is that why you've not been eating well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can imagine the attachment you've had with your dog. I'm so sorry about the loss of your dog, all right? But like what I can say to you, I really have to encourage you to eat. Try to eat small amount of feed at regular interval, all right? And do you want me to refer you to the dietitian? Yes, of course. Okay, because it's going to help you. They're going to plan your diet with you and you can start eating. What do you like eating? Um, I like eating um, rice. Okay, fruits, yeah, vegetables. Fruits, yeah. And I think I will escalate with the doctors. They just might have multivitamins for you if need be. It's up to them entirely, okay? okay? So I move over to step three. For step three, it is called acute disease effect score. I'm happy to say to you that you are not having any score for that and I'm very happy with that. Alright, All so right. I'm just going to be totaling your score. Is that okay? Okay. Alright, so total more score is one. I'm going to write the dates. The dates they gave me on my scenario is 22nd of June 2022. The time they gave me on my scenario is 10 o'clock and I'll put my signature. So, Haley. Yes. Now I want to tell the patient what is their most score and the treatment recommendation. So Haley, you are having a most score of one. Okay. I didn't say you are having a score of one. You know what I mean? You are having a most score of one. So a most score of one is called medium risk malnutrition. All right. All so right. we are going to be documenting your dietary intake for three days. If it's adequate, we are going to repeat screening, okay? Because you are in the community, it's going to be done monthly. If you are in the hospital, like you are now, it's going to be done weekly. If you are in the community, so either of the category you fall into. If you are in the hospital, you are in the hospital, am I correct? Yes, yes. We're going to be doing it weekly. If you are in the care home, we'll be doing it monthly. If you are in the community, we'll be doing it two to three months, okay? okay. So if it's inadequate, we are going to be setting clinical concerns, Follow local policy, set goals, improve and increase your overall nutritional intake. Is that okay? Yeah. So guys, I did not cram that. It is here. 
So you just read it out for the patient. Are you happy for us to do this for you? Yes, of course. All right, fantastic. Thank you very much, Haley. So, Haley, I'm just going to leave you with a call there and I will assemble all my equipment to do your observations. Is that okay, my love? All right. Fantastic. So, I'll do my hand hygiene now. Palm to palm. Right palm over left dosum. Vice versa. Fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, fingers interlocked, rotation of the top, rotation of the top, tips to the finger, tips to the finger, and the wrist. So my hands are clean. I'll put on my apron. And I'll put on my glove. So, please can you confirm to me my equipment is clean and ready for use? Yes, your equipment is clean and ready for use. Fantastic. All right, so I'm going to just take my dilemma and I'll proceed to my patient. Hello, Haley. I'm back. Hi. Are you still happy for us to continue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, fantastic. So, Haley, can I check your left hand, please? Have you ever had surgery on this hand? Do you know? No. All right, fantastic. No. I can see your left hand. There is no swelling, there is no inflammation, there is no edema. I'm happy to use your left hand to take your blood pressure. All right. Okay. So I'll tie this cuff, covering 80% of the upper arm or 2 to 3 centimeters away from the cubital fossa. All right. All right. So I'll just, sorry darling, I'll just take off your sleeve, okay? Okay. So Haley, when I tie this cuff, you are going to feel some tightness, okay? Mm -hmm. But it's just for a while, okay? Can I check your neighbors beds quickly? I see your neighbors. beds. Don't mind my son, he's training nails. So just do as if it's not training nails. I see your neighbors. beds. There are no infection. There are no false nails. I do a capillary refill. I'll use the first finger. You do a capillary refill and you verbalize it's less than two seconds. So I put my imaginary probe. All right, I'm just going to put on my machine now. Okay. All right. So while that is going on, I'm going to pick up my news charts. I will make sure the patient's name is there. It will be there. If it's not there, you write it. I'll make sure the patient date of birth is there. If it's not there, you write it. I'll make sure the date of admission is there. And the date of admission they gave to me is 20th of June. So I'll write 20th of June, year 2022. Now, the small date and the small time, I'll make sure I put 20th of June and I'll put my time. And my time is what? 1400 they gave to me. So, I'll just be checking that I've done everything. All right. So, all right. Haley, thank you very much. Your blood pressure is 134 over 70. You want to look properly when you are chatting because... If, if it's 134 by 70 and you go and chat it in 150, it is a fail, all right? So I want to look properly that I'm chatting at 134 over 70. I'm looking properly, okay? This is correct. All right, and the saturation is 96. I'll put a dot there. Thank you very much, Haley. Can I take this one, please? Fantastic. Thank you so much for your cooperation. So, can I quickly check your pulse, please? Is that okay? All right. All right. I'm going to be putting my two fingers on your radial artery, okay? And I'll be yeah. counting for two minutes, okay? On your exam day, the nurse's breast watch is on the table. So, pick it up and count. So, let's do this now. All right. Sorry, man. All right. So, Now I've counted the pulse for one minute. I'll cram the value without the patient knowing and I'll start counting the rising and falling of the chest. All right. Thank you very much, Kaylee. I'm just going to chat that now, okay? Right. My pulse is 80 beat per minute and my respiration is, our respiration is 20 pounds per minute. So Haley, I actually counted your pulse for one minute and your respiration for one minute, but I didn't want to let you know because I didn't want to obstruct the reading. All right. I hope okay. that is fine. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So I see you're not on oxygen. So you are saturating on air. So I'm going to put air here and I see you are lats. 
because you're talking to me obviously so i'm happy with that can i check your skin please all right fantastic if you've not watched my video on the husky updates we no longer check the ears we use the forehead all right or you use the temporal region i can see your skin there is no excessive sweating there is no redness i'm happy to take your temperature all right temperature 37.1 so I chart 37.1. I'm looking at my news chart now. I'm going to get the news total. Look very well at your news chart, making sure you charted everything correctly. So my news total is zero. I'm not cramming anything. I will turn to the back and check the treatment recommendation. So Haley, you are having a new score of zero nothing at all to worry about okay i'll okay. be monitoring you 12 hourly and i really do not need to escalate your care okay, okay. so i'm happy with that so Haley, i move over to airway for your airway because you are talking to me we've been interacting i can confirm that your airway is patent meaning there is no obstruction to your airway or do you think you're having any obstruction to your airway no your airway is patent you yes. agree all right fantastic i move over to breathing for breathing really i counted your respiration for one minute the rate the depth your respiration is fine it is 20 beats per minute there is no stridor there is no virtual sign of respiratory distress there is no unequal entry of air there is no coughing i'm very happy with your respiration okay right. so when i also did your saturation remember when i checked your neighbor bed i popped a probe i did your saturation your saturation was 96 that's perfect i'm happy with that okay, okay. so i move over to circulation for circulation i did your blood pressure and your blood pressure was 134 over 70. that's normal i'm very happy with that as well okay, okay. so i counted your pulse for one minute the strength of your pulse, the rhyme of your pulse, and the rhythm of your pulse is okay. Nothing to worry about. Is that okay? Right. I also checked your skin when I did your capillary refill. You're properly perfused and there is no cyanosis. So I'm very happy with that as well, okay? okay? So I move over to disability. For disability, sorry. Do you know where you are at the moment? Yes. Where are you? I'm in the hospital. Oh, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. So you know where you are. Are you having any pain, any pain at all no i'm not you're not having any pain that's fine i'm also happy with that how is your urine output are you passing good amount of urine is your urine color okay my urine is very dark can i get that again please it's very dark oh bless you are you drinking well no I've not oh been drinking well that's the problem you know sometimes when we don't drink well our urine becomes like concentrated so like i said i want to encourage you to be drinking i know it's not easy just be sipping have some sip of water but i'm also referring you to the dietitian okay? okay and i'll be happy to get a sample from your urine as well so let me know so that we could get a sample from your urine okay okay fantastic how about your blood glucose did any notes check your blood glucose at all no oh nobody has checked your blood glucose leave that to me okay when i'm done with my observation with you i'll come and check your blood glucose okay all right, all right fantastic so i move over to exposure for exposure I did your temperature it was 37.1 i'm happy with that okay? okay do you have any rash any wound any swelling in any part of your body at all no i don't are you sure yes. all right so i'm very happy with that that you don't have so like i said to you i just want to ask you just a few more questions again how is your mobility yeah, I mobilize very well, but I mobilize with a stick. With a stick, and yeah. you're confident with mobilizing with a stick. Yes. All right, I'm quite happy with that. But I'm thinking maybe I should refer you to the occupational therapy just to, you know, check on you, check your mobility. Because I see from your scenario, you have a past medical history of osteoarthritis. Yes. Yeah, so and although you've been, you said you're good with the stick, but you've not really been eating. Yes. so you might just be at risk for fall so i'm not saying anything i just want the occupational therapy to you know assess your mobility is that okay all right fantastic so i'm happy with that so you said you're not eating well didn't you yes. so i'll refer you to the dietitian like we agreed okay? okay so do you smoke or drink alcohol no i don't oh fantastic that sounds good to me so do you have any concerns at all for me no i don't you're happy with everything we've done today yes fantastic do you okay that's fine i wanted to ask do you live alone 
Yes, I live alone. You live alone. Oh, so you obviously you are living with your dog. Yes. All right. So the occupational therapy can take it up from there and you know okay. assess you and assess your home living. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Amy, for your cooperation. I'll leave you with a call bear. If you need anything at all, all you need to do is to use your call bear and I'll be here or any other of the nurses will be here. All right. All so right. thank you so much for your cooperation. All right. Okay. I'll take off my apron. I'll take off my glove and it all goes into the clinical waste. So you know the clinical waste. So it goes into the clinical waste. I'll do my hand and gym. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And keep sharing this video to all who are preparing for the OSCE exam, okay? So thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to my lovely son for always helping me in making videos. So thank you so much. I really appreciate son for always helping me make videos. So guys, keep watching. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in my next video on GCS in the new test of competency. And until then, keep passing your OSCE exam. I love you all and bye!